You are never too sinful or too famous to bow down in front of the Creator. Asalaamu As Alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Smile to Jannah. <laughs> Here we have French Montana Join slang and box huh? In the last few days of Ramadan Listening to the Quran <laughs> Fasting Alaikum Is it me or does it sound like an Asian uncle here? Asalaamu Alaikum Alhamdulillah, shukran. Let's break up first. Whilst you got celebrities that might use their clout to open up shops for them, French on the other hand Bonjour. is using his clout to open up the mosque. They just opened up the mosque for us. 27th Ramadan special night. About every year the same prayer. If anybody know me, they know tonight's special night. 27th Ramadan. Thanks to these brothers open up the mosque for me. Alhamdulillah. And before some of you guys get triggered, yes, this is another video about French Montana. Huh? And the reason why I like doing them is because I think French is an accurate depiction of the 21st century non-practicing Muslim here in the West. If you look at the psychology behind where they are in this current moment in time, they are victims of their upbringing, their friends and the media. So rather than us just labeling them, shunting them away, many of these brothers and sisters are potentially, mashallah, amazing scholars and leaders of our communities, but because they are not being looked after, harnessed, spoken to and treated with respect, rather people just want to lecture them and expect years of psychological damage and conditioning to be undone just because of one really powerful YouTube video. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> of course that's not going to happen. You have to truly understand these people, relate with them, yeah? Speak to them at that level. But many of us are too busy sitting on our high horse saying no, 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 no. That's Harab, he's Harab, she's Harab. That tiny little thing, you know, sticking out of the corner, that's definitely Harab. <laughs> Now of course I'm not going to go to the other extreme and say you're not allowed to say these sorts of things. By all means advise people but don't get on their case about it and start getting rude and start mocking them. There's a way to advise them and I think people like French Montana and other non-practicing folk, I think their good needs to be celebrated and you need to give them the space and the time for that good to be nurtured and harnessed so it can actually grow. Once it's grown then of course you can approach it in a different way. Don't do it when the seedling hasn't even broken through the soil yet. You know what I'm saying? You're just going to quash it in its early stages and it's not going to be able to flourish. There's two types of people. You get one type of person that does sins and they justify it within the religion. No, 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 no. you can't be doing that. That's haram. That takes you out of the fold of Islam. The other type of person, they do something wrong, they get approached, they're like yo, I'm, I'm weak and make dua for me, I will try as well. My bad innit? And French to me seems like the second type. I think it's the fact that social media is accessible to anyone and everyone and a lot of people haven't had the upbringing or that training on how to give dawah and pe many people just don't want that training. So anyone can just go on social media and go blah and then it's up to the practicing folk to say yo let's let, let's analyze and let's see where this is stemming from. But it seems this is a lost art nowadays. That's why marriages are breaking, that's why friendships are breaking. That's because we don't sit down and look at the psychology and break things down to see 
where that particular problem is stemming from. And a lot of these youth are far gone. Yeah, so far gone. And you know what? You know the people that have pushed them? It's it's certain practicing people who claim to have the keys to Allah. The door that you think you've got the key to, Allah has left open and there's no lock on it. You know what I'm saying? So why are you going around pretending that you've got the key? No, anyone can go. And these people feel like, oh man, my sins are so much. I can't go back to Allah. That's what I like about French. Bonjour. The fact that despite you got these folks, he doesn't feel that he can't turn towards Allah. Because, and that's where we need narrations like this. There's a hadith that says, even if your sins were to pile up to the heavens, if you repent, Allah will still forgive you. So please, whoever you are watching, realize that it's never over till you die. If you are alive and you have a breath left in your body, Allah's door is always open and always welcoming to you. You know what I'm saying? And I wanted to make this point as well. Some people say, oh, French is doing it for clout. Clout using what? Using Islam. Are you aware of the way Islam gets treated in the media? If someone stands up for Islam, they lose clout. In fact, this happened a couple of weeks ago. An Italian aid worker was kidnapped for 18 months. She returned back to Italy. Everyone is happy to see her. Then they realized, damn, she's converted to Islam. Then the media started battering her. Some people that know French is a Muslim, look how he's approached. Hey, what, you're, you're Muslim. What, what do you say to people that are going to blame the attacks on Muslims? The attacks that happen to Paris? <laughs> I mean, I mean that, what's that? What clout are you going to get? The only clout that you're going to get is from Allah. Showing people that you are gravitating towards a lifestyle that inherently refutes your lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? That takes courage, that takes strength. That's why when I see these non-practicing folk coming to the masjid in, in, in Ramadan one month a year, yeah, that takes a lot of strength because you know to go against a habit you've built and to still acknowledge that Allah is still Akbar. I think that, that, should, that should be celebrated. I think that's amazing. I, I pray that Allah guides him to the right path and you know keeps me, <laughs> keeps us on the right path. The practicing that may be watching, we don't know. Yeah, Allah is the turner of the hearts. Tomorrow we could be on the same path, path as French and we may need the same mercy, love and acceptance from the Muslims that French needs at this moment in time. Let's leave it there guys. Oh, before I go guys, Subscribe to my homies. Yeah, I'm going to play their clips. They are voice only artists. We have to support our brothers and sisters that are jumping on the scene. Rasulullah, Rasulullah, you are the only one, the messenger. And when life gets hard, you're A teacher, the teacher of teachers He changed the world for the better And made us better creatures Qamarun, Qamarun Qamarun, Sidna Nabi Qamarun